Hey everyone, different kind of video today. I'm not in front of my usual backdrop. I'm not putting promos at the beginning or end of this because I feel like what I've got to say really shouldn't have any distractions attached to it. I don't normally talk about stuff that just happens in my everyday life, but recently something kind of happened. It's, uh, it'll make sense once I actually explain it. But the event itself is something I felt like I needed to talk about and then impart something to you guys. So, this was on Friday, March 3rd, 2023. I was getting out of the house to run a couple of errands. And that particular path that I was driving down to run those errands is a path that I travel pretty frequently, very familiar with it. It eventually brings me to an overpass that goes over a freeway. It's, you know, something I see every day. Normally there's nothing unusual about it. Well, on this day there was something unusual. First, as I was approaching the overpass, I saw a vehicle parked on the side. And I've seen vehicles parked there every once in a while, so it's not that unusual. But still, not something you see every day. I didn't think much of it at first until I actually got to the overpass and right at the crest of it, I saw somebody standing by the ledge. Well, more specifically, he was sitting on the other side of the guardrail, looking out over the freeway. And I couldn't really stop. Looking back, I, there was no way I could have stopped the car because there were people behind me. And had I done that, I mean, that would have been a problem. But I remember seeing that guy, I got a pretty good look at his face, I couldn't really read his expression, but he wasn't happy from the look of it. And I kept going, wondering, what was that about? And it was just going through my mind as I went to run my first errand. And I was thinking, well, why was he sitting there? It's possible he was just sitting there because, you know, it's dangerous, sure, but people do dangerous things like that. It's not unheard of. But that didn't really seem like that was the reason. And the more I thought about it as I was running that errand, which, by the way, wasn't very far from where this whole thing took place, I kept thinking that there was only one possible reason that a guy would be sitting on that side of a guardrail overlooking a freeway that cars just come barreling down every day, every minute. And it wasn't a good reason. So, me being a Christian, I prayed for some sort of clarity. I just asked God, Give, tell me something. And the one thing that kept going through my mind was that I should go back. I, I didn't know what I would find when I went back. I didn't know what I would do if I still found him there, but... I just knew that's what I had to do. So, I finished my first errand because it didn't take that long and it was basically by that point when I really got the impression that I had to go back. And went out, returned to that overpass, and the scene had changed. But not in a bad way as far as I could tell. There was a rescue vehicle there. Behind that was a police car with its lights flashing. The police were behind that, talking to a guy who was not the guy I had seen sitting on the ledge. And I didn't see any sign of that individual, but as far as I could tell, the traffic on the freeway below hadn't stopped, which it would have if, well, if he had decided to take the short way down. So that told me, for the moment at least, that things were taken care of. If nothing else, I could confirm that. So I finished my errands. Later on, I looked it up. There was nothing online in the news about some kind of suicide happening on that bridge. So as far as I know, either the guy was going to jump, but somebody else got to him first and prevented it, or maybe he really was just being dangerous and basically causing a scene and somebody ratted him out. I don't know what it actually was. Now here's the thing. 
I've played over the scenario over and over again, and I don't know if there really was an opportunity for me to do something at that point, or if I should have turned around sooner, or what. I, I may never really know, and I don't think there's any point in me dwelling on the what-ifs, because, again, based on everything I've seen and everything I haven't seen, the scenario played out okay. But if I did miss an opportunity there, well, that is ultimately on me. But I do have another opportunity here. I've got a platform that anyone can see at any point, and I feel like maybe what I should do is put forward a message to all of you guys. Because the way I see it, there are two kinds of people in the world right now, with as crazy as everything has been, as spiteful, as divisive, and everything. It leads to there being two kinds of people. There are the people on the ledge who are contemplating whether or not to take that leap, and there are people who see those other people on the ledge and wondering what they should do. Well, to both of those kinds of people, I would say the same thing reach out. There's the, the reason that the world has gotten the way it is, or at least a very large part of it, is because people have been isolated for so long. And that's really not the way humans are meant to be. Humans are social beings. We need communities. I'm a Christian. I believe in the Bible, of course, and I believe in going to church, and it's not just about reading a Bible. It's not something... If you're looking at it from a Christian perspective, being a Christian does not entail being alone. Church is not just about sitting down and listening to someone speak the Bible to you. It's about the community you form with the people around you. But whatever the case, I mean... I still say reach out. To the person on the ledge, reach out to someone because there are like, what, almost 8 billion people in the world at the very least? The odds of you actually reaching someone who's going to make you feel like you do belong are actually pretty good, all things considered. And if you don't find somebody today, then try again tomorrow. You can always try again tomorrow, because there always is a tomorrow. And that is the important thing you need to know. And eventually you will find a person who will either lift you out, or will help you get to a place where you can be lifted out. But it's always worth trying. Always worth trying the next day and the next. It's never futile, even when it seems to be. And to the people who are not on the ledge, but who see somebody else there, reach out as well. I know it might be nerve-wracking, because you don't know what that person is going through, and it can get into your mind and under your skin that if you say the wrong thing, somebody's life might be on the line. But not doing anything is ultimately worse. And you don't have to be a whole melodramatic, no, don't jump kind of person. That doesn't work. The one thing I do know about if I had gone back and the guy was still sitting there and nothing had changed about the scenario, and I was given the opportunity to talk to him, the one thing I know I would have said is I would have started with, what's up? Or, how are you doing? Just something like that. Because sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes all a person needs is to hear that somebody else cares. And that's what you need to do. That's what we all need to do. We need to care. And that's really all I have to say at the moment. If I did miss an opportunity on the third, I don't want to miss the opportunity going forward. I hope, I've n I hope I'm never in a position where I do have to talk someone down off of a ledge. Not for myself, but more because I don't want anyone else to be in a position where they are on the ledge. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. 
but it's possible you're on the ledge right now. So, I'm reaching out to you and I'm asking, how are you? And however you answer, if your answer isn't that you're doing too well, believe me, it's not that bad. Things can improve. Again, I'm a Christian. I believe that even in the unlikely event that there's not a single living person on earth who cares about you, there's someone beyond all corporeal reality who does. But he designed us to care for each other as well. So, that's my ultimate message to you guys. Start caring. Reach out.